so this video is the multiple choice questions for the AP physics exam for the topic of oscillations. Uh, so for the first question, uh, which of the following is our characteristics of simple harmonic motion? Uh, the acceleration is constant, the restoring force is proportional to the displacement, and the frequency is independent of the amplitude, and the answer is D. Uh, so 2 and 3 are correct, but 1 is incorrect because the acceleration of a simple harmonic motion is not constant. And this is because the force is not constant, it is proportional to the displacement. Uh, so, for the second question, a block attached to an ideal spring undergoes simple harmonic motion. The acceleration of the block has its maximum magnitude at the point where, uh, so, the uh, so the answer is C, it is when the speed is minimum. And this is because the acceleration is equal to F over M, and for the mass spring system, it is Kx over M. So the acceleration is maximum when the displacement is maximum, which is when it is equal to the amplitude. And uh, when the displacement is equal to the amplitude, then the potential energy is maximum and the kinetic energy is zero. Okay, uh, And so the speed is minimum. Uh, so for question three, a block attached to an ideal spring undergoes simple harmonic motion about its equilibrium position with amplitude A. So what fraction of the total energy is in the form of kinetic energy when the block is at a position of A over 2? Uh, so when there is no uh, friction, then the total uh, energy of the system is conserved of the mass spring system. Uh, so at uh, any position, the total energy is a constant, and it is equal to half k a square, OK? So when x is equal to a over 2, then um, the potential energy is half k a, a over 2 square, and from this we get the kinetic energy. Uh, so in that case, at this position, the kinetic energy is 3 over 4 from the total energy. So the answer is E. Uh, so for question 4, a student measures the maximum speed of a block undergoing simple harmonic oscillations of amplitude A on the end of an ideal spring, so there is no friction. So if the block is replaced by one with twice the mass, but the amplitude of its oscillations remains the same, then the maximum speed of the block will uh, be uh, so as the block passes through equilibrium, which is x equals 0, then it's, uh, at that point its potential energy is 0 and its kinetic energy is maximum. And so the maximum speed of the block is at x equals 0. And then it will overshoot uh, either to x equal a or x equal minus a, which are the endpoints. And at the endpoints, the potential energy is maximum and the kinetic energy is 0. Uh, so, uh, when the block passes through equilibrium, um, the total energy is all kinetic, and so V max is equal to square root of K A square over M. And so, if the mass is increased by a factor of 2, then the uh, maximum speed will decrease by a factor of square root of 2. So, the answer is C. Uh, so for question 5, a spring block simple harmonic oscillator is set up so that the oscillations are vertical, okay? The period of the motion is T. So if the spring and block are taken to the surface of the moon, where the gravitational acceleration is one-sixth of its uh, value uh, at Earth, then the vertical oscillations will have a period of, uh, and the answer is D, which is uh, it remains the same because the period of uh, a block uh, spring system is equal to 2 pi square root of m over k. So uh, it does not depend on gravity. Uh, so what gravity will do, it will shift the equilibrium position uh, around which the oscillation is taking place, okay? Uh, but that will not affect the frequency or the period of oscillation. So for question 6, a linear spring of force constant k is used in a physics lab experiment. So a block of mass m is attached to the spring and the resulting frequency f of the simple harmonic oscillations is measured. Uh, so blocks of various masses are used in different trials. 
and in each case the corresponding frequency is measured and recorded so if um, f square is plotted versus 1 over m then the graph will be a straight line with slope uh, and this is the frequency of a mass spring system and so f square is equal to this value which is constant uh, times 1 over m uh, so this is the slope of f square versus 1 over m uh, so the answer is d question 7 uh, a block of mass uh, 4 kilogram on a frictionless horizontal table is attached to one end of a spring of force constant 400 newton, newton per meter okay and undergoes simple harmonic oscillations about its equilibrium position um, x equals 0 with an amplitude of 6 centimeters so if the block is at uh, 6 centimeters uh, initially at t is equal to 0 then which of the following equations um, with x in centimeters and t in seconds gives the block's position as a function of time um, so this question is about uh, finding the phase okay here by knowing the initial position uh, of the block okay uh, so uh, by knowing k and m we can find the angular frequency which is 10 second to the minus 1 and this is the equation for a simple harmonic oscillation uh, so at t is equal to 0 x is equal to 6 centimeters and the initial phase is pi over 2 so we substitute and we get this equation uh, so the answer is a uh, so for question 8 a block attached to an ideal spring undergoes simple harmonic motion about its equilibrium position with amplitude a and angular frequency omega so what is the maximum magnitude of the block's velocity uh, so the velocity is the differential of the displacement equation and this is uh, the differential is maximum when cosine uh, this angle is equal to 1 so the maximum velocity is a omega so the answer is a uh, so for question 9 a simple pendulum swings about uh, the vertical equilibrium position with maximum angular displacement of 5 degrees and period t so if the same pendulum is given a maximum angular displacement of 10 degrees then which of the following best gives the period of oscillations uh, so for small angular displacements the period is independent of the amplitude so it will not change so the answer is c uh, so for question 10 a simple pendulum of length L and mass M swings about the vertical equilibrium position theta equal to 0 with a maximum angular displacement of theta max what is the tension in the connecting rod uh, when the pendulum's angular displacement is maximum uh, and so this is the free body diagram so along this axis uh, T minus mg cosine theta is the net force that gives the centripetal force okay which is m v square over l and this is l um, and so when the theta when theta is maximum the velocity is zero and at that point the tension is equal to mg cosine theta max so the answer is b uh, so thank you for watching, please don't forget to like and subscribe and see you in the next video.